previously on Legends SMP. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> Copper. So after the whole incident with Copper the Cat, we traveled through the caves for a while longer. And eventually, we ended up at a dead end. We didn't know where to go, we kind of were lost. And then this happened. I just, um... <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Can you turn around? Please turn around for a second, I just need a, a t some time to myself. <gasps> I genuinely did not mean to do that. Yeah, an honest mistake, but a welcome one, I guess. We're fair and square now, I assume. We'll see them later somewhere. I headed out of the cave, found some diamonds along the way because why not. Headed back to the waste zone at the start, and there was a little gnome waiting for me there. Hello, little one. Oh. Hello. By any chance, and do you have a backpack for me? I can give you mine for the time being, so come back with me so I can... Graham, hold on. I'm gonna give you the stuff. Hold on. There you go. Thank you so much. Look at my backpack. Let's go. So stacked with the coolest backpack in town, I started building my first starter base. So I started clearing out some land around my waste stone, and from there I started building my first build. Kind of a cool looking ocean temple with a little bit of a nod to what my origin is. Speaking of, I haven't told you guys what my origin is yet, so I think it's time to reveal what my origin is. So I think it's finally time for me to reveal my origin. I'm a Kraken. So yes, that's right, I am a Kraken. And that's what this build was all about. I tried recreating the Kraken shape in the temple, and I think it turned out pretty well. I used some cards to make some stairs and eventually recreate a mouth. And for that I had to go to the nether, which was kind of a pain since I died multiple times. So yeah, there goes my not dying streak. Yeah, you see, increased fall damage and increased fire damage. It's kind of difficult when venturing the nether, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go to the nether too much. Anyway, so my build was basically finished and I think it turned out really well. Then from there, at first what I wanted to do is build some more stuff. But what I found out quickly is that the one thing that really annoyed me is the fact that I couldn't reach land and I couldn't like reach any people. So what I did was I created a pathway all the way to land. The only problem is, is that I'm so far into the ocean that this took me a long time. I think I had like two inventories full of dirt that I needed to use to make this pathway. But hey, eventually it was finished, and I think this is pretty cool. You know, we, we, we have to make this, we, we have to give this pathway some, some cool name, some, some name that means something. And ever since we lost Copper, you know, our dearest cat, I think that we should call this the Copper Trail. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some copper elements to the trail, and this is gonna be the Copper Trail. And you know, to memorize Copper even more, I decided we need a memorial for him and what better way to do that than to make a statue a cat made out of copper blocks which was also a pain to collect since you know I needed almost over 4,000 copper ingots to get all these copper blocks. So this is something I'm never doing again, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm never making something with copper again. This took so long. But hey, I think it looks really cool and really cute, and it's a, it's a pretty statue. Also, while I was gathering all the copper and all the other resources I needed to start building, I found a lot of treasure chests. You know, truth is, it's really easy to find treasure chests when you can just travel the whole ocean with a trident that easily. So I found a bunch of heart of the seas and i created a heart of the sea on top of the temple above the waystone so now people can go in and they can breathe underwater also i found this village along the way and i brought this villager all the way over to my place so i could get him to become a librarian and eventually get some mending books or silk touch books then eventually when i finally got him there he disappeared he just swam away i built him this entire church and he just swam away I built him this entire island with a beautiful church and he disappeared. He was just gone. Why would he leave me like that? So yeah, I think the church looks really cool, but we just need a new villager. Because he's just gone. Just one day I swam up, I came knocking at his door, and he was gone. He's not here anymore. Maybe he's hiding in the ceiling. Nope, he's not hiding in the ceiling. Very sad. Oh well. 
We're gonna have to find a new villager though. So then I started building this huge dome made fully out of glass and this took me a while as well because I had to smelt all the sand and like clear all the land and then get the shape of the dome. But I think eventually it turned out really cool. So this is how the dome turned out so far. I added a bunch of lights because skeletons and zombies just kept spawning in there and it got really annoying. Right now I'm just waiting for the grass to grow. <laughs> Quite literally. Because you know there was just dirt so I got one grass block from an enderman and I placed it here. So you know i had some grass that it could grow now i just need a bunch of light sources here to make sure it grows faster so every now and then i keep adding torches to make it grow faster but it seems to grow well the whole idea is for me to eventually use these slices of grass to make different biomes although i can't change them into actual biomes the idea is that you know i'll plant oak trees here and i'll plant acacia trees here and maybe some some jungle trees over here so we basically have every bit of nature out there in this dome that's the idea eventually now i'm gonna turn this into sand and then eventually make some like some cool builds around it i don't know maybe have it look like some kind of cool city square or something let's see let's see eventual idea i have this pathway leading here now we have the copper trail over here i just have to make a sign as you can see it leads all the way to land eventually over there and there's copper or beautiful copper you will be missed Thank you, Copper. Thank you for your service. So essentially, this will be the main hub, and then we have a pathway leading to the dome, and we have a pathway leading to land. That's currently what we have so far. Now, my idea is to build some houses along the Copper Trail, and I have this pit here, which could be used for some really cool stuff, and I have some really cool ideas for it, but I don't want to spoil too much. Although, let's just say that it's going to be cool. It's, it's definitely going to be cool. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Of course, I'm not going to spoil too much. Look at that. I didn't even see that. A small gift just for Grim. Found quite a few backpacks and thought you might appreciate a bit of tasty fish. Dark. Oh, well, a backpack. That's cool. I already have a squid backpack a lot by now, but hey, I mean, that's cool. So yeah, we have the heart of the sea over here. Oh no, it's, it's actually called a conduit, right? It's a conduit. The idea is that I'm going to make more of these along the trails so people can keep breathing along the trails, but the problem is that you need a lot of nautilus shells for that, and nautilus shells are not easy to come by. That's what I found out so far. Right now I have three, but it took me a while to get enough to even get that conduit going, so it's, it's gonna take a little longer than that. Oh! Hello there. Hello? Hello? Ow! Ow! Wait, wait, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You're... Ow. Uh, hello. Hello! Oh. I, I like your umbrella. I don't remember you uh, looking like that, Grim. Did you have a makeover or... um? Oh no, no, I just revealed my true self. You know, losing losing a dear friend like Copper was a real eye-opener for me. It changed oh. me. <laughs> you know, after after everything that happened with the cat and then me accidentally, accidentally, accidentally. Kill, killing yeah. you with the water bucket, I, I think we're fair and square. So uh, oh, we can just proceed okay. from there unless you want to have revenge, of course, then like... I, I don't um, I don't feel like for getting now over. I don't think so I think for, that we're good for, for now great that's just that's yeah, fantastic yeah, you know I'm happy it would to be awkward that. you know yeah you have like beef already have you ever thought about playing tic-tac-toe with the shells oh that's actually that would be fun. funny okay well you get to do the first move thank you now if you give me a second <laughs> yeah don't mind me don't mind me Oh, um, hold on, oh, we get it. Oh, 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 well, I mean, he wasn't gonna kill you. Again, right? I don't think so. I don't know. They're, you know, they're a little on edge. You know, oh, honest, it's right? it's it's my move, right? It's a little hard yes. to. Because, you know, the shells look the same, so we have to remember who placed which one. Yeah, don't worry, I always place that winning ones. Yeah. yeah. I won. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. No, look, I won again. No, you, you didn't. No, you look. I won again. <laughs> the, the game is already over, like, every move has been made. Oh, oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, it was just falling because I removed the block. That's why. Well, I might have 
later on some stuff to talk to you, but hey, for now I think that we're good. Oh, that's well. going to be more of a formal. What kind formal of stuff? Gathering. Yeah, you know, stuff again. Like I want to something more formal than this. You know, maybe oh. invite you to my place. Formal, like yeah, show you around. You mean like an alliance? Yeah, well, I would meant more like an alliance. You know. Hmm. Fair. But again, like later on, we can talk about that. Later. Do you have any idea what the others are cooking up? Because I haven't met with them yet. Um. No. Yeah. Everyone is building really cool stuff. I think that isn't trashy. The mummy really close. Yeah, he is. Close I I, I I haven't met up with him yet. Yes, he's having. He's making a really big empire. Honestly, a really big kingdom. So many cool stuff. Oh. Alex also has like a really big cool tree. Dungeon also has like this really cool place. He also is using copper, which is quite interesting. And I'll be honest, come closer. I can come closer to you. A little bit closer because the... be careful with the dragon. Just have that in mind. Why? Just have that in mind. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just be careful with, with the dragon. Okay. You know, I think it's my time to go. It's, it's, you know, it's getting late. Goodbye, Grim. Goodbye. Well, that was something. I mean, an alliance wouldn't be bad. At least we have some people to count on. Although, I don't know with Knight yet. She seems a little suspicious about things. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this one. We're going to expand our empire. And, uh, you know... Maybe we're going to meet up with some of the other people. We'll see. We'll see.